Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV 3D channel we'll learn how to prepare and maintain the cool plate build surface on your Bamboo Lab X1 or X1 Carbon. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV 3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I dress for success. Uh, and, and by that I mean dressing the cool plate build surface on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon for success in removing prints. The X1 and the X1 Carbon have a print surface that's made out of a material that holds onto filament way too well. So what do you do when you have a print surface that holds onto your prints like they were glued down? Why, the only logical thing of course, you use glue stick on the print surface before you print. Wait, what? Yep, you heard right, glue stick. In this instance, it's going to act as a barrier between the cool plate surface and your print. And the way it works is the glue stick is going to stick to the cool plate and your filament's going to stick to the glue stick, which it'll do just fine, so your print isn't going to fail. But your filament will stick to the glue stick less than it would to the cool plate, and so you'll be able to flex the cool plate to remove the print, because the cool plate is in contact with the glue stick and the glue stick is in contact with the filament. Without that barrier between the cool plate and your print, you could, if you weren't careful, accidentally tear the cool plate surface when trying to remove a print. So let me show you how to dress the bed with the glue stick. Now this may seem like a pain in the butt if you're used to something like a PEI print surface where you just give it a wipe with isopropyl alcohol in between prints. But in actual practice, it's really not that bad. First, let's clean the flex plate. Wash the cool plate side in warm water with dish soap to get it clean. Any old glue stick residue dissolves in the water and the soap removes any finger oils that may have been left behind by touching the plate. Drying it off with a clean dish towel completes the cleaning process. Then take the plate over to your work area and maybe put down a paper towel or something so you don't get glue where you don't want it. I'm using my Wham Bam slap mat and that's easy to clean if I get stuff on it. I'll use the glue stick that came with the printer, although pretty much any glue stick should work just fine. The wider the better for this purpose. Keeping the glue stick vertical, start on the left side of the cool plate and make two or three passes from front to back to create a starting point. Then working from the front edge of the cool plate, starting on that strip of glue stick you made a second ago, make passes from left to right. A slow and steady motion with the glue stick held vertically works well here. Overlap the strokes slightly. The idea is to get full coverage of the cool plate, but you don't want a super thick layer of glue. Work your way to the back and then when you're done, look at the cool plate. If you see any gaps, a quick swipe with the glue stick should fill those in. Now the plate is ready to go back in the printer for some ridiculously fast printing. After you remove a print, use the glue stick to fill in the spot on the cool plate where the print used to be. After about 5 or 10 prints, it'll be time to repeat the cycle of washing the cool plate and reapplying the glue stick. Now, I've been following this procedure since I got my early release X1 Carbon, and this has worked really well for me, and hopefully it'll work out well for you too. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great, and if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.